I was um, thinking about the rule breaking, Brent, and uh, you realized that Yoram has accomplished something in death that he couldn't quite do in life. And I came into Goddard with my no badge and just my driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Good. Enough. So, um, and I want to tell you, Nadav, right away that the story of going to North Carolina and the wave, I've heard it, and it was as important to him as it was to you. I've heard it many times. It's a wonderful story. And other than um, that, like Cordelia and King Lear, I just can't heave my heart into my mouth, and especially with all these people and in two minutes. So, but I can heave my heart into my writing, and so I will be sending you things later. But this is from Didier Tanre. Didier is Yoram's scientific twin. They, they think alike. One could start a sentence and the other could finish it. They, they were always together. Their careers had been in parallel. And Didier very much wanted me to read this to you. Jean, Nadav, and Daphne. It was almost a 25-year story between Yoram and myself. In 1982, Yoram was in the committee of my degree called Doctorate d'État in France. I was proud to have him in my committee, and with Bob Frazier, the two of them were recognized as the best experts in my research field, which was um, using satellite observations, taking into account non-uniform and non-Lumbergian surface effects. Yoram wrote his review and attached a letter, and he asked me, or invited me, to come to Goddard. And I thought about it, but it was a tough decision. There was a new baby, and I was looking for a job in France. And I hesitated for a while. And then I hesitated for too long, and I was too uh, embarrassed to say no after so many weeks, so I just ignored the offer and didn't respond. Six years later, in August 1988, my lab organized the International Radiation Symposium in Lille. Yoram came to the conference, and we met for the first time then. We had a very nice discussion, and we ended up having dinner together with our wives. And during that dinner, he asked me, he, he says, Didier, so, what's your answer? <laughs> and I, I was confused. I said, I had, I had no idea what he was talking about. And he said something like, you know, I invited you to Goddard. <laughs> Are you interested or not? And so uh, I promised to send him my answer before the end of 1988. The, the, that was a uh, bright time period to ask for the NRC fellowship. So during the next eight days of the meeting, we realized that uh, we had both independently ap applied to be MODIS NASA science team members with basically exactly the same topics. And uh, this could have put us into a rivalry, but instead we, we laughed about it. We thought it was very funny that we had come to the same conclusion at the same time. A few weeks later in October, I did decide to come to Goddard and I began the application process. And uh, in February 1989, the Moda Science team was announced. I was selected, and Yoram was too, with almost identical proposals. It was a sign, and in March uh, he got, I got approval for my postdoc position at Goddard. And it's not necessary to say how well Yoram managed uh, to get me the NRC and to join Jim Tucker's group. And those two years at Goddard simply changed my life, not only my professional life, but the life of my whole family. We met so many people that are present today, and we had a wonderful time thanks to Yoram. Since that time, we worked so closely, and we divided the world, the, the aerosol world. I gave him the land, and I took the ocean for myself. And I told him that I had two-thirds, and you only have one-third. <laughs> Is it true? But uh, do the fishes really care? <laughs> And we were actually both wrong in our initial uh, plans for getting the aerosol information from MODIS. And through exciting discussions that I'll always remember all my life, we changed our approach and finally we were successful. As many of you are aware, I used to travel a lot between France and Goddard. I would not have been able to do it without him. The opportunity to meet Gorham and the outstanding group he had built around him was the greatest part of my motivation and I learned so much from him. He was able to communicate his enthusiasm, and we were all ready to follow him anywhere, anytime. During the last years, we met in so many places all around the world, sometimes with our families. I have special memories of the Coast Guard meeting in Warsaw in 2000. This is where he uh, had lived as a young child, and it was the first time he had returned there. I'm not speaking only for myself, but for my wife and daughters who will miss him as much as I will. 
Jean took care of them when we arrived in the States and we felt as part of the Kaufman family. Yoram, you are gone too early. I still have so much to learn from you, science-wise and humanity-wise, and I feel so sad today. Jean, Nadav, Daphne, and extended family, I wish I could help you in some way. Love to you all, Didier.